detox. It's about changing lives. If you wanna be fit financially free, get with me. Shawty wanna know how to detox I told her whip it on the stove in a teapot She say she dropping off the way like a backpack I could ship yours out the days in a cash app I got the T to T to T and it's instant You really making cheese over at TLC? Oh yeah, we getting it what? The mother three companies trying to get Jack and LaCari already accomplished it. Shout out to Stormy for bringing them dollars in. Meek is on fleek and she got a big following. Twyla is silent and bringing two commas in. Manaya Young and just got a Benz. AJ the one that got us in. We with Johnny Green so we gotta win. I don't pay attention to the competition while I'm water whipping tea up in the kitchen. TLC hit way different. We pushing it. Weight lifting. Shawty with a cash at. Send a Venmo or a cash app. $25 on a gallon, she won 500 on a talent. She put her body back in the balance. She threw away the bread for the salad. Hey, like a backpack. I could ship yours out the day. Send a cash app. I got the remedy. You tired and lacking in energy. Woo, pop you with energy. I heard it can help you out mentally. She said she wanted the body like Natalie. Told her to cut back the Applebee's. She said she wanna make cake like Drake. I told her all gas, no brakes. Yeah. I was just homeless like Tammy, praying for ways to provide for my family. I didn't graduate Harvard or Yale, but still I prevail. Shipping these packs in the mail. Brother was one in a million to go to the league. He was fulfilling his dreams till his wife got Crohn's disease. Fell to his knees, Lord, how could this be? Made a decision to leave to take her or her in the seeds, yeah. We all got difficult stories, got be the glory. I know this company for me, yeah. Left in 2013, shipping really hurt me. Now I'm back like like new grow, time to win like poo ho. Shawty wanna know how to detox. I told her whip it on the stove in a teapot. She say she dropping off the way like a backpack. I could ship yours out the days in a cash app. We got amazing Asians, we got Italian stallions, we got Dominicans getting it in. Black, white, a mix, you can win with this. We got amazing Asians. We got Italian stallions. We got Dominicans getting it in. Black, white, and mixed, you can win with this. Told her whip it on the stove in a teapot. She say she dropping off the way like a backpack. I could ship yours out the days in a cash app. I got the tea to tea to tea, and it's instant. You really making cheese over at TLC? Oh yeah, we getting it. What? The mother three companies trying to get Jack and LaCari already accomplished it. Shout out to Stormy for bringing them dollars in. Meek is on fleek and she got a big following. Twyla is silent and bringing two commas in. Manaya Young and just got a Benz. AJ the one that got us in. We with Johnny Green so we gotta win. I don't pay attention to the competition while I'm water whipping tea up in the kitchen. TLC hit way different. We pushing it. Weight lifting. Shawty with a cash at. Send a Venmo or a cash app. $25 on a gallon, she won 500 on a talent. She put her body back in the balance. She threw away the bread for the salad. Now she like Meg and the Stallion. Yeah, yeah. She wanna lose the girth. I told her do some work and drink Nutriburst. Woo! Shawty wanna know how to detox. I told her whip it on the stove in a teapot. She say she dropping off the way like a backpack. I could ship yours out the days in a cash app. I got the remedy, you tired and lacking in energy. Woo! Pop you with energy. I heard it can help you out mentally. She said she. Hello, my name is Mavi Cortez, shipping specialist. And because you are smart, self motivated, and always hungry for more, Drew Fallon, you are my hero. Hi, my name is Andrew Fallon, and I work in shipping. And my hero is Evan Bregman because he has dedication. 
My name is Evan Bregman, and because of her passion, her fire, and her fuel that she brings to Total Life Changes, Rosa Armenta, you are my hero. My name is Rosa Gonzalez, and my hero is Nicolas Navarro. Um, I relate so much to him. I think that he is willing to do whatever it takes. It doesn't matter about the title. It doesn't matter about, you know, the place or the time. I think he's very passionate. And for that, I, um, I think he's my hero. Hi, uh, I'm Nicholas Navarro and I work here in customer service. My hero is John Lacari uh, for always inspiring me and pushing me to do better. My name is John Lacari and my hero is the man who helped attract the men and women that I work with every single day, Mr. Jack Fallon. Heroes, we've all had them in the past. Superheroes, sport heroes, celebrity heroes. But guess what, this day and age, we all have to be heroes. Everyone behind me is my hero. Who's your hero? Let's go. Big John with that. He loves Welcome. putting that thumb up. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Welcome to Live with Jack and John. What a great opening segment. Who is your hero? Oh, man, we've got her. Yeah. Hold on. There we go. All right. So you guys just let you guys in on a little secret. We've got an interview coming up. Yesterday's winner is in the hot seat, ready to go. Going to be talking to that young lady in just a few moments. So uh, thank you to her for being here. And thank you for you for being here today on Live with Jack and John. We're excited that you're here. See, we already got several hundred people joining us pretty early in the broadcast, so that's always nice to see. And if you want to share this broadcast with uh, maybe some of your friends or neighbors or coworkers, maybe we get a couple extra people in here and maybe we, we, we light up someone's day. Absolutely, Johnny. Uh, always easy to do when Mr. Fallon speaks. So. There's nothing better than a Delgada in the afternoon. Oh, I'm telling you, I know. Uh. Delgada, I, I wash mine down with an energy sometimes when I'm having a really, really like <sighs> dip in energy. Oh, and, uh, yeah. It gets me going. Let's go. Uh, uh. Let's go. All right. So yesterday we had a challenge on this broadcast as we do each and every single day, Mr. Fallon. We challenged all of you, all the great young men and women that joined us uh, to, to let us know what TLC product helps you get energy and have more fun while you get more work done. So it sounds like your answer is Delgada. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Delgada. Yeah, I love Delgada. All right. So Delgada Energy Resolution, what's your go-to that gives you the energy to have more fun while you get more work done? We've got some examples starting with Alina Hosh. Owens, she says, NRG is the great product that helps me have more fun and get more work done. Oh, yeah. Jennifer Smith McDaniel, Nutriburst and NRG, help me have more energy to have fun while getting more work done. Nice. Let's Jan go. Janae Williams says, NRG helps me have so much fun and get all of my work done. Woo. Omar Hill, NRG, Nutriburst before a workout makes me happy, focused, and really helps my workout. Well, it looks like we're four for four on NRG. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Rosa, for helping us put NRG on the map. People are convinced if they take one, they can be just like you. Hmm. Rosa's on fire was on this morning. Was it? Yeah. How'd that go? It did? You didn't sell me on that. My it was God, just really good. It wasn't great. It was extremely good. Hmm. How was Roses on Fire this morning, guys? Good? Oh, yeah. Big John's oh, all fist pumping. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm sure it was great. Just make sure. So you, if you want to take your energy and be like Rosa, make sure you take it on Saturday and Sunday, though, to show up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to comment on that one. You guys can read between the lines on that one. All right. Here's a couple of fun comments that were dropped. Yes, we always like to add a couple extra comments. Antonio Wesley says, I am super thankful for TLC and the great staff that helps us and our great customers. My family is forever grateful. Thanks, Antonio. Appreciate that feedback. And one more for you, Jack. Tony Moore, TLC is such a family-oriented company. I'm truly grateful to work with you. Thank mm, you. Honored to work with you, Tony. Thank you. Let's go. 
All right, five random winners yesterday. We talked about this product yesterday, Slim PM. It's L-arginine based. It helps get that blood flowing. It helps get get you uh, operating at the optimal level. And also, while you sleep, you never know. It might help you burn a couple calories, um, which is always a great thing, right? Burn a couple calories while you're sleeping. Why not? Absolutely. All right, three, five random winners are going to win that awesome, amazing product absolutely free. Are who, Mr. Fallon? Deanna Charles, Shakira Hodgins, Melanie Soto, Mary Stewart, Julie Graham. Congratulations, ladies. Uh, hopefully you enjoy your product. That'll be on its way today. And uh, thanks again for uh, taking part in our daily challenge. Stay tuned. We'll have a daily challenge at the end of this broadcast. Or towards the end of this broadcast, and you too will be allowed to take part in absolutely free and possibly win a product or cash or whatever else we're giving away today. Looks like we're giving away money today. Stay tuned. Let's go. All right. Next, it's Whiteboard Wednesday. It's Jack Fallon's turn. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. It's not my turn. It is my turn. I know. I'm Did so, you're... I am so unprepared. So, no, so... you're not. It's, you're very prepared. No, but. 155, right? I'm like, Adriana, it's it's Jack's turn, right? She's like, no. She takes her. So I'm like, no, consistency, persistency, remember? She's like, no, that was two weeks ago. <laughs> Hashtag. Yeah. So I know. I, I remembered as she was speaking. And then she did text me this morning, but I'm behind on my text messages. So all of you that have texted me this morning, I am really behind. So who wrote this on the board? I did real quick because I don't okay. want to forget. And I wanted to kind of like... No, I said I got more stuff to write. All right. Well, I'm just saying, you know, you, you you can't do that. I know, but I wanted to shave it down from, from 17 minutes to like three. Whose show is it? Sebastian's or yours? It's our show. Right. Don't listen to yeah. him. No, I'm not listening <laughs> to him. But they did put a new timer clock out there for us. That's, That's for really him. hard to not see. That's for him. Let us know when we're talking too much. We talk too much. That's what we've been told. I, I tell you what, all my fans say keep talking. All right. Well, <laughs> well you know what I say. You ain't telling, you ain't selling. Right. And I'm not talking about just products either. All right. Whiteboard Wednesday. Here we go. You guys ready? Yep. 60 seconds. I thought seconds. long and hard about this one. A, a grand total of two minutes. Here we go. All right. Whiteboard Wednesday today. Do I need a mic? Try to bring this lavalier over with me? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. All right. The lavalier, he calls it. All right, guys. So this Whiteboard Wednesday, I'm going to go over here so, so Instagram can see too. So we all hear about this all the time. Jack Fallon reminds us, all the great motivational, inspirational um, speakers tell us, our teachers tell us, our guidance counselors tell us. Oh, there we go. Write down your goals. I think that's obvious. We all know that, right? So today's Whiteboard Wednesday, what I wanted to talk about is not just writing down your goals, but really taking it a couple steps further. So Adriana, we're going to bring you into the, uh, to the broadcast today, right? Is that why she dressed up today? No, she, we're not, I'm not going to bring you in visually because you're, you told me you're not ready for that. Okay. Let's go. But what is a goal that you have? Tell us one of your goals. Get a house. Get a house. Perfect. Awesome. So Adriana has a goal. She wants to have a house, right? And Jack Fallon, John LeCurry, anybody will tell Adriana, in this building anyway, Adriana, you need to write that goal down. And we all know it. We've heard it. We've done it. But... I suggest that you write down actually two additional things and you re come back to this list always. Okay, so, and we're gonna get to that in a minute. Sean, Sean Bagan is back there. He's part of our IT staff. He's <laughs> checking our internet connections by the minute, making sure that we don't go, go offline. Sean, what are one of your goals? Not a house though. What are one of my goals? Yeah. Uh, to complete my education. He wants to complete his education. Perfect. Get degree I'm going to put. All right? All right. Anybody else? We don't, we don't have any other audience back here. Big John, what's one of your goals? Uh, get back to squatting 300. He wants to squat 300 pounds. Hence the name Big John. Wow. Squat. Yeah, I know. He wants to live up to that name. Squat 300 pounds. Okay, this is good. You know why? Because we have a wide array of goals here, right? Yeah. So we've got <laughs> someone wants a house. Mr. Bagan wants to get a degree. That's awesome. That's, that, that's, that's an awesome goal. And John just wants to simply just, you know, it's not simple, actually, but he wants to squat 300 pounds. Here's what's cool about these goals. So what I like to teach, whether it's in, in, in you know, your own personal life or in business or in whatever, start with your goal and kind of work backwards from the goal, right? Because when you know what the goal is, then you can come up with a great plan, 
right? But if you just start with the plan before you have the goal, like, hey, I'm going to work hard. Cool, what's the goal, right? So Adriana's goal is to have a house one day, right? So Adriana, why do you want a house? For your future, right? Okay. But what's part of your, what is also part of your future? Family. Oh. Perfect, right? She nailed so it. So now all of a sudden, check this out. Her goal is house. Why does she want that? Because in the future, she wants to have a family. So she knows if she's going to have a family, she needs a house. Right. Because where is she going to put right. the family? Right. So there's, another, there's a third step to this. How are you going to do it? How are you going to get the house? This is your why, so that's going to keep you on track. Every time you're tired or every time you get off track, you're going to be like, well, this is my future. This is my family. I need that house. What's your plan? What are you going to do? Work. You're going to work hard. <laughs> She's going to work. She's going to work for it. Right? Work hard. Maybe not turn down any OT. Right. So the reason why I think this is important is if you have this nearby, if you have your goal sheet, and it could be multiple goals, it doesn't have to be just one, right? But there's going to be a day in the future, trust me, we all have them, the best of us have them. I don't care who you are, You're, we're all human beings, right? There's going to be a day where, where Adriana says, man, I just don't feel like going in today. Yeah. Or it's such a nice day outside, it's, it's a nice day to go to the zoo. I would love to go to the zoo today. But you know what? Adriana's got her goal sheet nearby. She's going to say, you know what? i got to go in because I want that house for my family and for my future. So I'm going to go in. And you know what? I'm just going to listen to something motivational on the way to the TLC office, and it's going to be great. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to go visit Rosa in her office, and she'll definitely make me smile or scream. Or just call or cry. me. Just call me. All right. And I'll call your mom and dad, and you'll end up here. So... <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to go through Mr. Bagans really quick. No, now. no. Should we? Yeah, real quick. All right. Sean. <laughs> Sean's goal is to get a degree. Is to get a degree, finish his education. That's great. Sean, why do you want to get a degree? Huh? To broaden my knowledge. To broaden your knowledge. Okay. Is that the only reason why you want to get a degree? Ah, I think there's more to it than that. Okay. Why? For education and more qualified. Education. I don't know if his why makes me cry. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> more qualified. So he wants, obviously, he wants bigger and better things in his life. He wants a, a higher position. And there's nothing wrong with aspiring for that. I think that's amazing, right? So that's what he wants. But, Sean, in order for you to get a degree because you want to expand your education and be more qualified, what's your plan going to be to get that? You gotta grind, okay? So he's gonna grind. What does grind mean to you? Give us a definition of grind. You gotta work hard, you gotta okay. stay up late, wake up early. Stay up late. Slash no sleeping in. So this does not mean going out and partying, staying up late. He means staying up late and studying. Sleeping in, no sleeping in. That means he's going to get up early and keep on reading books and bettering himself, right? So Keeping the when, car clean, too. Yeah, so he's going to have these bad days, right? And he's going to revert back to this list, and he's going to say, wait a minute, this, this, this thing that I might be doing is going to go against getting my degree, and I need to get that degree because I want more education. I want to be more qualified at whatever I do in the future. Last one, Mr. Big John Mitchell. You want to squat 300 pounds. That's your goal. Why do you want to do it? Better health, more confidence. Okay. Ooh. Confidence and health, right? Sorry about my handwriting, guys. I know it's That's not okay, the best. Johnny. You're doing good. Right? Confidence and health. That's why he wants to do it. What is your plan going to be? What do, you be? what do you squat right now? Well, because of quarantine. I mean, I was at 315, but... Okay. Uh. Cool. Fallon might be able to help you out. He's got barbells back there. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so you're down to 250. Okay. So, what's your plan going to be? How are you going to get back to squatting your 300 pounds? Up my calories. Mm -hmm. And keep training weight. Okay. Up oh. your calories. Might want to update one more up weight. One. One more training day. Up your calories and what else? Legs twice a week. Legs. He's only going to do legs twice a week. Legs. Only twice 
two X a week. All right. So there's going to come a point where John is at his second day where he needs to do legs and he's going to not want to do it. Or he's going to say, well, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Well, maybe tomorrow brings him into a new calendar week, right? Maybe tomorrow is Monday. And he's going to revert back to the list. And he's going to revert back to his goal. And he's going to revert back to his why. And he's going to say, no, I got to do it today. And John is going to do that second leg workout for the week. Why? Because he's got his goal sheet nearby. He's constantly looking at it. He's reminding himself why he's doing it. And he knows that his goal is 300. And he knows he's only at 250. So he knows he's got to keep on going. And the reason why I also am saying all this stuff is because we are all human. And sometimes this plan right here frustrates us. And we're tired. And we're crabby. And and, and maybe we're, we're coming off of a, an illness and we don't feel that great. But you got to keep going because if you're going through something, you're growing through something. And that's Whiteboard Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Man. Not bad, Johnny. I try, Fallon. Right. I really, I, I, you inspire me to aspire to be like you. If I can just move a fraction of the people that you move, I'm, I'm good. If I could just video you back at Ford and you <laughs> laughed in my face at all this stuff. Oh, that's a movie right there. That's That alone is like a, that's like an anti-bullying movement. Like movie? Like a documentary? You like that could be me. like a personal. You yeah, bullied like, me, Adriana. I did. I did. I agree. And, 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 I, and I harbor that regret. And I'm sorry. I apologize to the world. I did bully Mr. Fallon and I made fun of him. Personal development was weird. For, as far as I was concerned. And uh, now look at me. I'm on doing whiteboard Wednesday. It's kind of embarrassing oh. when I think about oh, it. Oh, all your homies. I wish all your homies were here. Uh, you and Eddie Prochinski. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for listening, guys. I, I appreciate it. Um, all right. Spring back challenge. Today is the last day to submit your after photo. This is it. If you don't want to upset Mr. Scott Bania, please get your after photo in today. I don't want Adriana to have a bad day tomorrow because he's going to be all crabby. Oh, X amount of people didn't submit their photos. And then he's kind of, you know, she kind of answers to him. So he's going to be crabby. And then she's going to be crabby. And then we're going to have a crabby show. Oh, right. Because energy is everything. Good you know, point. Transfer that kind of energy. So well, Scott make today, Scott happy. Today he's very oh. happy. He's handing out plants. Yeah, I didn't get um, He bought us a plant. He bought plants. Back Scott here. Bania. Check that out. Uh, oh, that yeah. is most nice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where I hear him Thanks, yelling Scott. around the, the warehouse. All right. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> All right. Uh, it looks like Sabrina's coming into work. Look at that. Okay. Um, moving on, um, we have our Zoom interview. So, what is this about? Well, we give away $500 a day in the month of May on this show, not only to the individual, but also to the charity of their choice. So yesterday, our award recipient name, our award recipient's name was pulled, and it was Emily T. Sullivan. Let's go. And we were able to get a hold of her, thankfully, because she was trying to get a hold of me, and I was on a Zoom, and then I was on a call. And she was like, hey, do you know if they re are reaching out to me? And I was like, yeah, I know they're going to reach out to you. I know Adriana. I know her work ethic. I know for sure she's going to reach out to you. So we did get a hold of her, and she's here live with us right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Live with Jack and John, Miss Emily Sullivan. Emily, how are you? Good morning, John. I am awesome and better than I deserve for sure. Mr. Jack Fallon is here with us as well. Let me scoot in so we can see you. So, I saw your text message yesterday. You were, you were shocked that you're a winner. You actually, I think, if I remember it correctly, you asked me if this was for real. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. Um, you know, I was kind of listening to the Jack and John um, yesterday, but I was helping my team. My new teammates were asking me questions and stuff, so I'm I'm sitting there on my phone texting them while I'm listening, and I had my laptop behind She froze, Sean. She froze. Behind that, me. Okay. And all of my cell phone. froze, And I go, whoa! <laughs> and, and sure enough, it was up, and I was just like, oh, leave this. And I just basically sat in my office, and I was just like, is this really for real? This really, this is not happening. I started bawling. 
um, I ran out to my husband outside and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And Kevin's like, are you all right? Is everything all right? And I'm like, yeah, everything's all right. I just, I just won $500 and I get to give $500 to an organization and also $200 for a family in need. And it was so funny because the family in need that, that I um, decided to do, my husband immediately said the same name. Awesome. Mm. I think you need to give it. I'm not going to give the full name, but I sure. think you need yes. to give it to Heather. Yes. And I said, absolutely. Um, I've known Heather for, oh God, probably 22, 23 years now. And uh, basically she came into my life because I had a family daycare and I took care of her daughter, um, Sarah, and her son, Ethan. And Sarah just graduated from um, Gordon University. Wow. Top of her class. Congrats to her. And her son, Ethan, is um, a sophomore in high school. She is a single mom. And this woman, I don't know, don't know how to say it, but she would give the t-shirt off of her back. Wow. She does so much for everybody else. And she always puts herself behind everybody, her kids, her, her mom. Um, her dad, when her when she was he was alive, and I I know that she is indeed right now because she, after she she did come and work with me for a little while before I closed my daycare, and she's working in a daycare center um, as a preschool teacher. Wow! So right now here in Mass, we've been closed down um, in daycare for uh, now two months, mm. and it doesn't look like we're going to be opening up until the end of June. Right. So she's definitely someone that um, will appreciate it, that definitely needs, you know, is in need of that. So I'm glad that I was able to bless her. I'm very well, grateful for you too. Thanks, too. Emily. That, that's, uh, thanks for sharing that. And I, I tell you, I, 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 I'm just still amazed time after time after time we talk to people and they say, you can't, you, you don't understand how great timing this was, what a blessing this was, or I know someone that needs to be blessed, or how many people have told Jack and myself, okay, I'm going to give this to my parents or I'm going to give this to someone else because, you know, they're struggling more than me or, or they really need it or they were praying for an answer this morning and I feel like this is, you know, maybe maybe supposed to be for them. So, like, that is just awesome. I, I, I <laughs> Thank you for sharing that and, 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 you know, leaving her kind of anonymous at that point, which I think is is, is cool too. But um, there's just so many great people like that. And, and, and I think that, uh, you know, those, those are heroes. Those people like that are heroes. And, you know, being a single mom, you're already a superhero when you're a single mom. So, um, you know, taking care of kids at a child it. care. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and I, you know, and I think it's one of those topics too, that we forget about, right? There's a lot of, uh, jobs that have been affected, um, by what, what's going on. So, you know, I mean, I think we forget about some of those sometimes. So daycare is something that I actually even thought of until you just right. brought it up Actually, actually yeah. And I know how many people use that and can't right now so goes right. both ways there so um all right so the 500 for yourself we're not going to ask you about we know you're going to do something great with that we know what you're doing with the 200 stephanie <laughs> there you go what about uh your charity what was the charity that you chose to bless with the 500 dollars? sure um i decided to bless an organization that is dear to my heart um the company is called um rise above Mm -hmm. And they were founded in 2019. And what they do is they what? help support foster kids in the DCF system. Um, so what, you know, they get donations and what they do is they um, they bless them. You know, if, if a kid wants to, um, you know, play soccer and right. the family can't afford it, they'll pay for soccer. Um, mm. Proms, you know, if kids can't get prom dresses, they'll pay for the prom dresses. Oh, I like but that. also mm -hmm. kind of gives a sense of normalcy to these children um, that are in the system and um, helps build their self-esteem. So as I said, it is dear to my heart because mm -hmm. I did um, foster two little guys um, that I have now officially adopted. Wow. And I was just like, I, I need to give back to this these guys yeah. because what happens, a lot of people don't realize that these kids are being pulled from the only people that they know, they trust, they love, they're being pulled immediately from their house with just what they have on on the, their bodies. They don't have their stuffies, they don't have their clothes um, or anything like that. So for me to be able to bless some of those kids that are in need, really, really um, 
I don't know, it just, it just, it's deep down in my heart, you know, that I'm able to do that. So I thank you both for allowing mm-hmm. me to um, bless these children that are in need. Thank oh. you. So it's, it's, thank it's, you. It's our pleasure, honestly. <laughs> it's an honor, really. And that's what's been great about this whole entire month is hearing about these charities. There's so many worthwhile charities out there, and there's so many people doing such great works. And it's amazing how life is, it comes full circle sometimes, right? Like this organization blessed you, which with, with, with what ended up becoming additional family members for you, right? They basically helped you, gave you a family, right? And now you're giving right back to that organization because it's touched you. And, um, and thank you for explaining what they do because I think that's so important and that you may inspire someone else to donate, which is really what this is all about. Um, I'm sure there's lots of kids out there that need a prom dress or, or, or need just the simple things that we take for granted, right? So thanks for that, Emily. And thanks for being such a great representative of Total Life Changes. But say their name one more time. Just in case we missed it. Sure. The company is called Rise Above, and they're in Massachusetts. Love it. Rise awesome. Above. All right. Jack, you have any more questions for Emily? Yeah, so you're from Boston, right? <laughs> Can you I knew this was going this way. I kind of knew this was going to head this way. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. Well, my buddy Mark Wahlberg's from there, so I, I, I hear the accent. Yes, he is. He has a great um, hamburger place too. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Drink your tea though if you go there for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for all you do. Um, that is an amazing story, especially um, fostering and adopting. Yeah. Because um, man, it just to to go out and reach somebody outside of your immediate family just says a lot about you as a human being. So I appreciate you being on this planet with me. Yeah. I think that's I, I think that's amazing and, and that's a great message, Jack, and great reminder. Emily, thank you so much. I I, I do truly believe that um, you know, kids are the gift of the world, right? And and we all need to be responsible for them, even if they're not our own. Um, I think we are all responsible to them to provide just a great environment, mentorship, coaching, love. And um, and you're one of those people, one of those heroes that are doing that. So thank you so much. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. I know we inspired someone to donate to Rise Above in Massachusetts. Yes. I can't even say it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and thanks, Emily, for being one of our biggest fans because yes. you've been around for a while. That's how I personally know you. That's how me and you um, actually have uh, each other's phone number because you've been around for a while. And you're one of our former Transformation Contest winners. Yes, right, I so am. thank right. you because you've you've done the ultimate TLC sacrifice, which is getting on stage and telling your story to tens of thousands of people. So thank you so much for doing that. And tell your uh, my Irish buddy, your husband, uh, <laughs> thanks for being Irish. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank him for us as well. Yeah, that's always important. The person at home supports what you're doing as well. So I know you help us touch lots of lives. And thanks again, Emily. We'll talk to you soon. I know. Thank Bye. You. See Thank ya. you. Wow, that's a great story. That was a great story. Thanks, yeah. Emily. Oh. You never know what all these yeah. people do, uh, you know, because we see them at events and we talk to them. And usually the subject's obviously TLC, but there's just so much more going on that I yeah. would have never known from her. I, I know. And, and that's what I mean. That's so cool um, how she actually is donating. And, and we obviously we hear it a lot, but she's donating back to that organization that really helped her yes. get what she was looking for. Right. Right. But she was looking for something. They helped her. And now she's like, you know what? I'm giving right back to them. And again, I mean, we say this all the time on this show. We say it, you know, at TLC events, we say it when we talk to each other, whatever you're looking for in life, if you just give that, it's funny how it all comes back to you. Yeah. God and the universe have a funny sense of humor when it comes to that. Right. Yeah, absolutely. What are you looking for? Love? Cool. You got to love someone else first, Yeah. <laughs> you know? And it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, absolutely. What a great month it's been. We got a couple more days left uh, for G5. We got a couple more days left for the $500 a day giveaway for you and your charity. Um, but next up, we're going to go to G5 for the month of May. You've got, no, what, what we is got today? one more thing in what there. What we got? Ooh. She might have pinned it in on mine. You're right. No, no, it's here too. My, okay. my, my apologies. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, this well, is huge. I, hopefully they, it's on the screen. If everybody could see it, I don't know. The... AV crew is yes, scrambling sir. back there. Scrambling. No, they've got it. They've got it. So, yes, here's uh, the book. Here is the author, uh, Mr. James Twyman of The Moses Code. We've sent this book out to a lot of people, um, and a lot of people have requested the book from us. 
and we've just gifted it a lot. I mean, you know, our corporate internal executive team reads the book. Mm-hmm. Um, AJ Jordan, one of our life changers, does an exclusive call every Friday night with the book. Um, it's just really changed a lot of lives. So Scott did some uh, on his own, just went out and reached out to the author, and he's like, yeah, I'd love to be interviewed, and it looks like it's going to be this Friday? Yeah, 29th this Friday, right? Yep. yep. So Friday night, what else are you going to do on a Friday night? with all these restrictions happening join us seven o'clock tlc hq um we're open on that channel for sure and uh, that's going to be fun and you know what it is between scott's interview skills and your interviewing skills we're really going to get a lot of information out of this guy you better be you better be on there you better be on there with us of course so here yeah you know what what a great idea scott you don't even know what you just thought of man we're gonna give Let's we should it. give these away right now, right? Just in case, oh, right? People can read the first 50 pages. What Bless do you think? How do we Adriana, do it? How many times have you read the book? <laughs> All right. See, we got another one right here. All right. So um, maybe today's challenge will expand it and we'll uh, we'll give these away on top of it. What do you think? What do we got? Ten of them? Yeah, I think we got ten. And, okay. and then we got the AV department. If those three cats, if they read this book, they might change oh, your life. Oh, my Lord. I mean, so, their, their wives would start making us cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, guys, you're probably wondering, like, hey, you guys talk about this book a lot. What's the big deal with this book? So most of the ideologies and the principles that, and fundamentals that we stand by and live by and a lot of the words you hear us use really come from the Moses Code. Um, now, some of it came from Jack reading it and learning it. Some of it was already in our blood, in our DNA. It was kind of already there, right? It all is. Um, but it's it, it all is. That's the point. It all is. You just got to bring it out. I think we all have the Moses code in us. And when you trust and believe in it, which I'll be honest, I, I, as, as, uh, as a stubborn human being, it took me a while to kind of really truly, um, buy into that. Um, and, uh, but once I did, it's pretty amazing, uh, the, the transformation your life will take. Well, and the reason why I think this, this is so powerful is because it's simplistic. Mm -hmm. It gets the, the author gets right to the point. Um, and he backs it up with obviously the greatest book in the world, which is the Bible. He doesn't mm-hmm. get too deep into religion or spirituality, but he says, these are the words that were written for a reason. Mm-hmm. Um, and he backs it up. And it, again, it, it, you could read you in all reality, you only have to read, I think 37 pages and you could change your life overnight. I believe that. that's yeah. why it's so powerful yeah. let's because let's face it. A lot of people that, you know, including myself, it, I, I probably read the book like a thousand times, but I only read it, th- you know, cover to cover, maybe 10. So because it's human being, right? Life mm-hmm. gets in the way. But what I love about the guy, he's honest and upfront right in the beginning. He says, okay, I'm not going to bore you. You're not going to have to read a million pages to get to what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not going to let you read, you know, on and on and get bored and wonder and wonder. Here's what you got to do. I'm going to prove it to you. It works. That's simple. I know my first question was to him what it's going to be. When is the audio version coming out? <laughs> Because <laughs> that helps me read yeah, nowadays. Yeah, matter of fact, uh, I think we're uh, going to get the AV crew to uh, do their, our yeah. own audio version. We'll have Adriana read it and we'll record it. Yeah. Adriana, Let's start go. reading this. Yes. All right. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. So join us Friday night. That's going to be fun. You know we're going to have fun talking about that book. And that's so cool that the author uh, so quickly said, yes, I would love to come and talk about it. And I think he was I think he was excited as well, which is always awesome. So Well, how about Scott though? I mean, you keep knocking yourself, but he's right up there with oh, you. Oh, he's, so he's like anti self development. He reached dude, out to yeah. the author. The, the retirement and the golf course seems so much closer now that Scott just upped his game. I'm I'm good, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. All right. G5 double uh G five daily double edition. Now all of these people that are entered into our drawing today. Have qualified for G5 in the month of May. They've already earned an additional $50 for getting five brand new customers to try Total Life Changes products. I Hopefully they're it. having a great experience. Thank you for all your hard work. You've already been compensated your extra 50. You've already received your G5 pin. And now we're going to double up five of you. So boys, let's make five people $50 richer. We ran out of time. Yeah. First up, Kayleen Garnett from the United States. It's relatively new based on that account number. Hit it again, little Joe. I'm 
Diary Mendez. Congratulations, Miss Mendez. Three more. When is the Nutriverse shirt coming back? I'm hearing. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Patricia Sidano. Yeah. The Daniel, I would guess. No, no. Well, close enough. Adriana told me I was right. He did? Yeah. Hit it again, little Joe. <laughs> Let's go, Joe. Phoebe Leon from the USA. Or if Seabass would say Febe. Or could be Febe. Yeah. See, see. Hit it again. <laughs> Angela, hey. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, congratulations <laughs> to all of our G5 Daily Double winners. Let's You've go. got until Saturday to be G5 qualified and be entered into our daily double drawing and get your own $50 guaranteed as well. So get that fifth customer by Saturday. Oh, We're going to celebrate, yeah. recognize you, and possibly even reward you again. But let me reward you first by just saying thank you because sharing TLC could change someone's life. Absolutely. All right. Hmm, man. We still we ran out of time already, but we haven't even come to our core value of the day yet. And what is this? What is this guy that's staring at me on the screen? What's that all about? Where you guys know? Is there no, commercial? there was a picture. A guy, Look like Oscar Lopez with a hat on. Was that him? Oh yeah. All right, we'll get to that later. All right, so core value of our day of the day today, guys. Our standard is giving more than what is expected. For those of you that are keeping track, it is core value number six on your core value card. Jack? <laughs> well, you missed what are the you sentence that said, if so, why? What do you mean? It says, if your standard is giving more than what is. Oh, that's the challenge. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Don't jump ahead, Fallon. Oh <laughs> he gosh. already reprimanded me for jumping ahead. I already leaked um, it. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Our standards. standards give you more than what is expected. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Miss Sullivan nailed it today. Yeah. I mean, her uh, is just, she's a pure example of a standard of giving more than what is expected. She fostered, I don't even know if you heard the story. She fostered, then she adopted those two boys. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yeah. gosh, she's, the, I mean, the definition of yeah. standards give me more. Well, I think that's a great, I think that's a great thing to go back to, right? So those children... Those two kids that she ended up adopting permanently, what they were, what they expected was a temporary solution to their crisis. Right? Right. Their crisis was: we have nowhere to live, we have nowhere to call home, we don't have a mom and dad, we don't have a, a roof over our head. Um, you know, hopefully someone can help us. So Emily and her family stepped in and said, "We will temporarily help you. We'll temporarily clothe you. We'll feed you, and we'll do all those things." And then along that line, she went ahead and did and gave them even more than what they expected. She, she fought for them. She, she ended up adopting them permanently. And, and now they have a happy, warm home where I'm sure they have a great meal every day and they probably smile a lot. And, you know, that's just, they, they didn't even ask for that. What they were asking for was the simple things. Just, I just need somewhere to live. I just need someone to, to, to take care of me. Yeah. Right? And, and they found so much more. So, yeah, yeah, I don't think we can top that. And how about her? She comes to every TLC event. Yep. She's like a full-time TLC life changer. Yep. She's in the 250 club. You see all the boxes in the background. Yep. Um, so, I mean, her parents, man, they just like in, put that in her and said, here, here's one of your core values for the rest of your life. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put her on the spot. And I'm sorry, Emily, I don't usually do this. I, I really, really don't. But something is pulling at me inside telling me to do this. So, um, Emily and, and I have had a conversation in the past where she questioned if she was a leader or not in, in, in what she felt was the definition. Well, I'm here to tell you, Emily T. Sullivan, that you are the true definition of a leader. If you inspire at least one person to do or do not, then I believe you are a leader. And uh, trust me, you've inspired hundreds of people today she to think of things today. different ways. She's inspired Jack. He's taken some notes. And, um, and and your story has been spotlighted a second time on Live with Jack and John by incorporating it into our core value of the day, which is well-deserved. So thank you, Emily. Um, and thanks, Jack. You always have a good way of uh, just really knowing exactly uh, what to say when it comes to the core value. I know I put you on the spot a lot, and I'm sorry. It's okay, John. All right. Please forgive me. All right. 
Daily prize, guys. We're going to give away 100 TLC points. Let's All right? go. That's like 100 bucks. 100 TLC points. It'll show up in your back office, in your shopping cart portal if you're a customer because customers are eligible as well. And if guess what? If you're a guest and you're one of our winners today, we're going to create an account for you and give you 100 TLC points. Oh, yeah. But we have an issue and a challenge. We've got 10 books to give away. We've only got three people that are supposed to win these 100 points. Should we just have 10 people win 100 points in 10 books? Heck Let's yeah. Go. Should we just go for it? It goes with the core value today, John. That's right. Hey, Fallon's on fire with these core value segues now, right? <laughs> Let's go. Jeez. <laughs> have you sit on this side from now on. I'll just do the color. All right. <laughs> 10 people, 100 TLC points, and the Moses Code book. And you know what? Let's send that out tomorrow with overnight shipping so they get it Friday in time for... The broadcast on Friday night, right? Because tomorrow's Thursday, yep. You better believe it. Let's do that. That's what we're going to do. So 100 points and the Moses Code with overnight shipping delivered on Friday. What is their challenge, Jack? Their challenge is, which I gave up a little earlier, standard of giving more than what is expected. If so, why? If that is your standard, Mm -hmm. right? Yep. Is your standard. Is your more. standard, is it? If it is your standard, give me more than what is expected. If so, why is that? Mm-hmm. Were you born like that? Is it in your DNA? Were you raised like that? Did mm-hmm. you just listen to John LeCari one time and change your whole life because of that? <laughs> Whatever it was, put it in there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, does it come from the heart? Was it taught to you? Uh, I've always been surrounded. I've been lucky. I've always been surrounded by people. My parents, Jack Fallon, um, just great people in my life who, was all, who have always um reminded me to give people more than what they expect and, and always give more. So, um, you know, maybe that's, maybe you have the opposite. Maybe you just decide on your own. Hey, I'm giving more all the time. That's what I want to be. That's what I want to be known for. So we want to know in today's core value challenge, is your standard giving more than what is expected? And if so, why, why do you want to do that? Why are you doing that on a daily basis or a weekly basis? So if you are chosen to be one of our 10 winners, you will win 100 TLC points and the Moses Code book by author Mr. James Twyman, who we will be interviewing on Friday Let's night go. here at TLC HQ. That's going to be fun. I can't wait for that. Um, it's kind of almost going to be like a virtual event, per se. Awesome. Right? All right, cool. That's pretty much it. We've got one more thing to do, and then we are done. Finito, sayonara. Last thing we got to do is give away the $500 a day May giveaway. For a lucky individual and their lucky organization or charity. How did they get into, entered into this raffle? All they did was join us yesterday, which was Tuesday. They saw Jack Bounce, beautiful face, and they commented one time, Hi, Jack, or something. They commented anything, and uh, that Emoji? was it. That's how they got entered. The Emoji, they put a heart up there, or whatever else they put there. So, yes, that's all you have to do. If you're on this broadcast right now, just comment at least once. If you're on this broadcast later today, it's Wednesday, May 27th today. If you're on this broadcast later because you couldn't watch it live, comment. You'll still be entered into that drawing. We will pick the winner tomorrow. But today's winner, we're picking right now based on yesterday's broadcast. Boys. Hit it, Little Joe. Do you know it's Little Joe today? Oh, yeah. Take a crack at it, Jack. They said it back there, too. Did you hear them? Charnell <laughs> McNeil Williams. Charnell Williams, you have eight hours to let us know what charity you would love us to donate on your behalf. You're now on the clock. Also, we have some more uh, questions we will have for you as well. And you may even be uh, maybe joining us on a future broadcast of Live with Jack and John. So congratulations. You have definitely won 500 for yourself. Um, so we will talk to you guys soon. It's been a great broadcast. Lots of fun today. Hopefully you enjoyed Whiteboard Wednesday. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, our Moses Code discussion. Hopefully you enjoyed, enjoyed that interview. I know Jack did, and uh, it was it was pretty touching. It was a great, great reminder of what Jack tells us to look for all the time. There's great people. The human spirit is alive and well around the world. You just have to open your eyes, and you will see it all. And don't forget, 
Don't forget, please, was it Wednesday the 27th? Yeah. Back by popular demand, the Nutriburst contest is again starting today, Adriana. It is? Wednesday to Wednesday. Let's go. Yes, it is. First place, 5,000. Second place, 2,500. Third place, 1,000. The funniest home video. Include your family in that with your Nutriburst, your favorite product. And if you don't have it, have it, order it now. I love it. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm just going to throw this out there, right? Because... You know, I kind of, I, I was reflecting the other day, right? Rosa, Scott, myself, we have like our own shows, right? We do have one show a week where we're by ourselves. And you really don't. I was thinking about that. So here's what I'm thinking. What are you Me- thinking? Remember America's Funniest Home Videos? Mm-hmm. I think you should host that here at TLC. You should host your Let's own go. show. TLC's Funniest Home Videos with the Nutriburst, with the energy, with all that stuff. Just, you know, a 30 minutes of just... You know, a bunch of oh. videos, segue in, segue I'd be on out. The floor I know you're crying. I can like, see that. I think that's a great, isn't that a great show for him? Because he's passionate about it, right? He is. You are passionate about yep, it. I love follow that. your passion, Fallon. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. I All think right, that'll be fun for you. All right, thank you. Don't get forget. Do, do not forget to tag. What is it? TLC HQ. Yeah. And Nutriburst. And Nutriburst in Instagram and Facebook and probably anywhere else you want to. Tag TLC HQ uh, and get your entries in starting right now. I want to see the funniest videos with the family involved. Write down your goals. We'll see you soon on another edition of Live with Jack and John. Thank you. God bless.